Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, welcome back to the weird side of the internet. And today, we're gonna be talking about furries. Now, if you don't know what a furry is, basically it's a person who wears an animal suit and they take on a fursona. And some people like to have sex in the suits and some people don't. Me personally, like that's the first thing I would do. <laughs> but I found a furry on the internet named Kiro the Wolf and he has a YouTube channel and we're gonna go in. <laughs> hey, I got some big news. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lot. <laughs> like I thought Joey Graceffa's opening was a lot. That was like Joey, with a big animal head. This is kind of like a life update video because a lot of things is happening currently to me. So this- I'm on whatever he's on. Oh, but it's okay. It's gonna be a new location, new sites, new awesome people, and it's gonna be awesome. Does he shit in that? Like, remember the baby diaper girl? Like, she probably shat in her diaper. So does he, like, shit outside? Like a wolf? And are his neighbors just like, oh, that's Kiro. <laughs> but also are his neighbors like, don't shit on my lawn! Uh, I already love him. Second thing, I just hit 8,000 subscribers! Thank you guys so much! He deserves a lot more than that. Guys, please go to Kiro's channel and subscribe. Can we get Kiro to 100k? I think we can. Kiro, if we get you to 100k, can I fuck you in that suit? And I really love it. <laughs> Did he just come? <laughs> I don't care. Well, you're probably wondering why it's so entertaining today. Uh, and it's, it's absolutely amazing, I have a lot of sugar, and I think I drank out two bottles, and it's really good. Anyway! I want that on top of me. <laughs> I want to lay there, and I want him to attack me. <laughs> I, want him, <laughs> I want him to rip my throat out with his teeth. I might be a furry. <laughs> uh, today I found this really cool website, and I wanted to show it to all of you guys. Is this sponsored? Kiro, how are you getting more brand deals than me? Is that how he sees himself? <laughs> Cause same. <laughs> oh my. That one is making me feel some type of way, and that way is scared. <laughs> I don't trust that one. <laughs> like he's cute, but he'll fuck you up. See, it's the head twitches, it's the... Like, I don't trust that. Like, not just furries, like people in general. Like, when I'm at Walmart and somebody walks by me and they're like... I'm like, you stay in your lane, honey, and I'll stay in my lane. The hostess lane. <laughs> what? Did he just say smell my finger to her? See, I told you I did not trust him. Am I gonna cry right now? <laughs> Cause I might. Also that kid with the camera in the back is me. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love this! I feel bad for judging him. Look at him! Oh. I mean they are blocking the handicap parking spots, but that's fine. I want to see them fuck so bad. Like, I know furries aren't all about fucking, but like, I want to see it. <laughs> Why was that one my cat? <laughs> That's my nightmare. Like, I wake up one morning and Cheeto is seven feet tall. <laughs> okay, here is my plan. I want to talk to Kiro because I have a lot of questions. But also, I'm just genuinely interested in this whole world. And I know a lot of you guys are probably judging this. I mean, it is weird, but I feel like maybe once we know more about it, then maybe we'll understand it more. Also, I might be in love with him. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's go talk to a furry. Oh my God, hi. <laughs> hi, how are you doing? This is a dream come true. Oh my God, you look like a real animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay, how did you come up with your fursona, which is what it's called, right? Yes. Uh, I always been a really big fan of wolves. I know I look like a fox. Everyone says I look like a fox, but he's actually a wolf. <laughs> and, uh, so like you are a fan of something and then like you took it too far, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> took it over the top. So do you wear that like all the time or when do you wear it? Do you wear it to work? No, uh, I'm a fry cook slash dishwasher. So I don't want to get this dirty at all. Uh, I mainly 
wear it when I'm either home alone and I feel bored. I'm like, hey, let's get in my fursuit or I'm out in the city. Uh, I love seeing people's reactions when I wear it into like the town or the city and it's just really fun to do. Wait, so you go to work and you're just a normal person. Do the people you work with know that you're a furry? No. <laughs> I, I kind of keep it on the lowdown. Well, that's my next question. So, you know, there's a big myth or um, stereotype, I guess, of furries, which is that it's a solely sexual thing. And a it's, lot of you guys say it's not, right? It's not. Honestly, the age variation in furries, it can go anywhere from a person to be 12 years old to like 60 years old. There's a huge range of ages in here. So most of the furry fandom is not a fetish. There is a sexual side to it, but it's not that large. Right. Most of us do it for like a hobby or a lifestyle. Right. Well, we'll get to the hobby and the lifestyle in a second, but I want to get to the sex. Like, do you have like a special pouch that you could like open up or how does it work? Well, I'm not a kangaroo. Um, okay, so you're talking about mer suits, which those are suits specifically designed for sex. Like this is a fursuit. It doesn't have any extra zippers or like stuff stuff to for your junk to come out so more suits have a zipper in the front and the back so you can successfully do the sex wow so you don't consider yourself a like furry fucker i don't know the word for it <laughs> uh mercy -er. uh no i don't so for me, the reason that I understand furries, because a lot of people don't get them, I understand them because number one, uh, a chance to completely cover my body, yes. Uh, number two, a chance to completely turn into a different person and nobody knows who I am and I can just like be as weird as I want, yes. Number three, fucking somebody else wearing a costume is like <laughs> everything. So I get it. I feel like I am a furry. It's, it's really fun. I just love to become a different character. Like you can be anyone who you want and this character represents you and it's just so much fun just to become someone else are there like dating apps for furries like a tinder for furries yeah there is um uh, i can't think of any right now but uh there are a few out there i love when you, when you put your hands on your it's so cute i can't oh my god i love when you shake your head do you have okay wait do you have like special little things you do? Like little like, cause I've seen like different furry videos where they have like their go-to moves. What are your moves? Uh, I like to dab a lot. That's my one thing. <laughs> Give me that fucking dab now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love it so much. That's so funny. Um, wait, do you like go to the club like this? Like a not furry club, like a club club. Uh, I went to one once. And the amount of people that grew up my butt was amazing. And I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you... Okay, listen. Well, I don't know. Wait, this is a total personal question and I can take it out if you want. But I think I saw one video that had gay in the title, but I don't know if that was a joke or not. Or do you talk about that? Yeah, it's fine. I am really gay. Oh. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> really gay. Okay, great. Because I was going to say, like, I feel like that is like a dick slash man pussy magnet. Like, you're in a fursuit. Everybody's like, what's under the fursuit? Even I was kind of tempted like I purposely didn't look at videos of what you look like because I'm like no I don't want to fuck the illusion up so like do you have so many people just hating on you when you're in that suit yeah it does happen a lot uh especially with normal people <laughs> I guess um when I went to the club uh and especially like sometimes in the city a random person would like touch my butt I'm like oh okay how you doing <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had anybody because people are very judgmental which is why I've started doing this series because I kind of want to like open up people's minds to stuff have you found anybody in your own life that's been judgmental or like didn't want to hang out with you anymore didn't want to talk to you anymore yeah there were a few people um i would consider them acquaintances like in high school when they found out they completely like disowned me started spreading rumors about me and it, it wasn't really a fun time. So I just blocked them out of my life and just kept positive. So what made you want to become a furry in the first place? How old were you? Like what kind of made you want to turn into this? Okay, so that's a fun one. Uh, one day I was just scrolling online. Uh, I loved werewolves. I was into the whole werewolf thing, you know, grr and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was looking for a werewolf wallpaper for my computer and these like fursuits showed up. I'm like, oh my god. And I clicked on it. I set it as my wallpaper for like a week. And then my friend pointed out, I'm like, you're like furries? I'm like, whoa, what's a furry? <laughs> Holy crap. So I looked it up and I got dragged right into it. <laughs> when you put on the furry suit, do you feel like more confident? Do you feel kind of like you can do more things than you can as a normal person? I do actually. It makes you feel like another person. The way you act, the way you talk, you can basically say anything. I, I just love it. <laughs>
so much. Um, you get a lot of happiness from it. I, I know it sounds weird, but before I was this closing guy, I barely talked to anyone. And now I'm like a social butterfly. I can walk up to anyone like in the world. I'm like, hey, I like your face. How you doing? <laughs> or something like that. So it really changed my life like personally and professionally. So instead of like being shy of clients, like shying away from them, I'm like, hey, let me make a video for you or something. That like made me oddly emotional. I'm sorry, that was weird. I'm um, sorry. That's so sweet. I love that so much. Cause I totally like, I get it. Like if I was a kid, you know, I was younger and I didn't talk, I didn't talk until I was like 14. Like I just was not confident, didn't talk. If I would have had something where I could like put on another persona and like, be confident, because I did that later in life when I started wearing wigs and dresses and playing characters, and I felt so confident, so I just love that so much. Okay, the big moment. So you're okay revealing your identity, taking off your head. You're okay yeah. with it. But the only thing is I asked, like, don't reveal, like, my last name. You can call me Josh if you want, but last names are off. Oh, okay, your name is Josh. I did not know that. All right. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, are you ready? <laughs> We're about to reveal... The identity, I'm excited. I'm gonna be very sweaty, so don't judge my face because oh I'm oh sweaty. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> and here we go. There we go. Hi! Yeah, this is my human face. It's so weird to see. Wow, that was like a moment at like Disneyland when Mickey like takes off his head and you're like like, that's crazy. There's a person under there. Wow. And it's so scary to see the head just dead next to you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can hide him. <laughs> yeah, that's very sad. <laughs> well, wow. Well, thank you. I mean, this is exciting. I was, like, very nervous about this because I've never talked to a furry, and I've always wanted to. This is a big moment. Thank you. Welcome. I think the final thing we should do is I think you should help me come up with my fursona. So I'm a beginner, so, like, I don't have that much <coughs> to work with. This is all I have. I don't know my name yet, but I know I'm sassy. So like, what kind of a name would you give this persona? I don't know, it looks like a Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, it really does look like a Frank. So like, would I be invited into a furry convention just as Frank. Well, the thing is, you don't have to have a fursuit to go to a furry convention. Actually, most furries don't even have fursuits. They mostly have, like, a tail or ears. Um, <clears throat> you don't really have to have anything to go to a furry convention. So, like, just this head and my hairy body, and I'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed that interview. That was incredibly mind-opening to me uh, and also oddly emotional. <laughs> I just love the idea of transforming into something else and uh, finding confidence. I fucking love it. And hopefully this opened up some of your minds if you were afraid of it or thought it was weird. I mean, I'm sure there are weird people in the furry community like there is in every community, but for the most part, I get it and I think it's really sweet. So guys, go check out Kiro. I will put his link right at the top of the description below. Subscribe to him, uh, show him some love. And if you want me to go to Pitts and become a furry with Kiro, give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, leave some comments down below letting me know what weird side of the internet I should go to next. I was thinking of going to the brony side. And if you don't know what bronies are, bitch, you ain't ready. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see my last weird side of YouTube video where I talk to an adult baby, I'll put a link right at the top of the description below. All right, little furries, I will see you tomorrow.